Okay, my dudes, you knew this was going to happen. We, you might have not known it, but yo, I've been talking about it. Check this out. We all see that Imperium is back, reunited once again. And I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that, man. You know, they done some work on NXT. So I'm digging that they bring the other part, Fabian, back to reunite Imperium once again. Oh, man. It, yo, it's dope. The, the general and he's... I love it. I love telling you right now. When I saw that happen, man, it brought it back. I was just like, Triple H, man. Just, just, Triple H be bringing everyone down back. Well, you know what? I wanted to do a Triple H thing. I wanted to reunite the Hurt Business, baby. That's right. We've got Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander once again side by side with their leader, Bobby Lashley, the almighty. That's right. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still kind of hurt that the Hurt Business... No puns intended. That, that the Hurt Business got broken up, man. I feel like it was too early. They could have just got Omos to join them. To be honest, they could have. They could have. They could have left him with AJ for a little while. Ago. Oh, no, it had to end somewhere down the line. I don't know. I would have loved the Hurt Business to still be together. Maybe join. Have some faction stuff, you know. Triple H keep bringing in factions now. We've got Imperium. We, we be getting a whole bunch of stuff to be on his Judgment Day. That's going strong right now. I thought that was going to end. Before Triple H come back, I thought Judgment Day was going to be done. I thought it was finished, not going to lie. Triple H don't work on that. That's good. Dominic joining and stuff. Yo. Um, we got Bloodline. Solo now entering with the Bloodline. Obviously, uh, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's not going to last long, man. I know, I'm telling you, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going to team up once again, man. They're going to try and take them tag team championships. It's going to go down. Trust me on that one, man. But like I said, Imperium back. I love it, man. Yeah. Like I said, man, I see a few bits on NXT, man, and they were dope. They were dope. So when I see my guy come back and then they've reunited once again, uh, Imperium, I was like, bruh. I don't know why I didn't think that Chip H was going to do that, to be honest with you. I should have known straight. As soon as Chip H started bringing back all the other people, I should have just thought, you know what, it's going to go down. It's going down, man. I try not to read. I try my hardest not to read no spoilers or watch anything like that. I know a lot of uh, WWE channels, they, they, they let out the rumors. And it's good because if you want to know and you don't want to surprise, then you can read or watch that stuff, which is good. But nine times out of ten, unless it gets spoiled for me if I'm on Twitter or something, follow me on Twitter, man. You know, if you've got Twitter down, link in the description. I'm going down to Twitter and I see something that's spoiled. I'm like, damn, I didn't really want to see that. But if I'm going on YouTube, and like, obviously like I am every day, and then I see a video there like, oh, this person, I'm like, oh, damn, I didn't want to see that. But then I click onto it because curiosity, innit? Uh, but yeah. Nine times out of ten, I try not to see any rumors. So sometimes when it actually goes down, I'm freaking surprised as heck. I'm like, there you go. I get, I get the goosebumps, bro. I get the goosebumps. Like when people are making a comeback and all day, I don't. I try to not I'm blind myself from the world, bro. And I don't want to know. So when someone comes back, I'm like, goosebumps are real, bro. That music hits. I'm like, yeah. Hi. But if like if you ruin the, think about it, if you ruin it, yeah. It's like I, let me ask you guys a question. Listen to me on this one, right? Are you the sort of person that watches the making of the movie, right? I'm talking about any movie, you know, like let's just say for instance, I'm trying to think of something that you guys know, I was going to say Matrix, I don't know if you guys know Matrix or not. They did bring a new Matrix out, but Lord of the Rings, whatever, yeah, whatever. They always do the making of the movie. Watch how we made the movie. Let's take that magical CGI out of the movie and show you exactly how we done it. So you can see all these green screens. So when you watch the movie again, you're like, well, that's just green screen. That's just trash, isn't it? I never watched that. I never, ever, ever watched making of a movie. Never. Because I'm telling you right now, I watched one part before and I was like, what the heck? I mean, it was a Fast and Furious thing. And I was like, they, they weren't even racing. They were, they were getting, they were, some of them were going a couple of miles an hour, some of them were getting dragged by a tow truck. I'm like, bruh, what's this? Ruined the whole franchise for me, bro. Well, it was ruined long before that because they didn't out too many movies, man. Fast and Furious 1 and Tokyo Drift, best Fast and Furious, everything else, even number two, trash, pop trash. Number one and Tokyo Drift, okay? They're the only two Fast and Furious movies you watch. I don't care if The Rock is in them and the other ones, I don't care. They're the only two you watch. If you like cars, they're the only ones you watch. Anything else, hot trash. Get, it's not called Fast and Furious, it's something else. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't like watching major movies. Huh? Oh, look at his multiple power bombs there by the general. Here we go. Get that rep. One, two, three. Oh, damn. 
Damn, look like Imperium was doing the work on the Hurt Business right now, but don't count out the Hurt Business. I'm telling you right now, we haven't got uh, MVP up in here. He's still with Omos. Even though I'm thinking about now, where the heck is Omos? Wait up. You know what? There's been so much stuff happening on WWE. What's happened to Omos and MVP? Did I see anything with them? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Right? Maybe Triple H just something goes bad. I don't know. I just... Yeah, here we go. Wow! Shelton Benjamin getting worked on right now again. God damn! This boy getting hurt. Look at his multiple power bombs again. Damn! Shelton Benjamin getting hurt, bro. He's out cold. One oh, Cedric Alexander. Whoa! How the heck did Shelton Benjamin? Kick out of that one. Even though Steve Alexander might have helped him there. Shelton Benjamin kicked. Oh, nice suplex right there. Damn! Shelton going for it. The general is getting pinned. One, two. Ooh. This is a tight match. This would be so dope. Obviously, the Imperium got something going on now with uh, Sheamus and his little gang or whatever, which is kind of cool. You need to do something with them. That match here with Sheamus and Gunther, oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing. You can see they really went, I don't know yet if it's just how Sheamus wrestles or anything, but after getting chopped up, it just felt like they wanted to hurt each other. I'm not gonna lie. It felt like they were doing moves to actually hurt each other. Gunther laying more than enough slaps down on that chest, bro. And then every time you just watch here how, how, how Sheamus was always trying to hit him here, Sheamus looked like he kind of wanted to hurt Gunther. Even when he had Kaiser on the ropes the other week, he was just smack, he got all the way to 30. He, said, ah, ah, ah. He, was like, he wanted to really pound his damn chest in. He wanted to put a hole in his damn chest. It was crazy. It was crazy. I love it though. I loved it. It was, it was amazing. It's amazing. This whole thing, yeah, with Imperium is going to be so cool, especially with Sheamus and his crew anyway. Like I said, if this happens, it'll be cool as well. I would like to see that. But, uh, yo, my dudes, like I said before in other WWE videos, it's a good time to be a WWE fan. 100% good time to be a WWE fan because everything is going down. Everything is awesome. Everything is... Oh, I'm not even going to sing that, man. I was, I was not even about to sing that Lego song, bro. See, that's when you have kids. You know when you have kids when you start singing the Lego song, bro? Everything is awesome or everything is not awesome. No, no, I'm out, bro. I'm out. Stop singing that, bro. Stop it. Now that's what I can think in my head. Is that what you're thinking in your head right now? Everything is awesome. Bro, stop. But I can't. It's just playing in my head now. Shut on it. But anyway, uh, if you guys don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. We actually have another, I have another channel. Well, this is my channel. And then I have another channel with the family as well. Super Gaming family. Super Beyblade family as well. We've got three channels in total. Technically, we've got four channels because Crazy Daisy has her own channel. But she ain't uploaded on there for like four, five, six years. Or something like that. She may come back to it, but it just depends what games she actually wants to play, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, four channels, three active. You can even go and check out Crazy Daisy's old videos. Maybe tech, maybe write comments in our old videos and say, come back Crazy Daisy. We won't see some videos of you and give us suggestions on what to do. Maybe make a series. I don't know. Do you want to see her do WWE? Maybe she can do her own WWE stuff. That'd be pretty awesome. I would like to see that. Yeah, now she can play WWE. You gotta be watching Super Game Family. She'd be doing some Royal Rumbles with us. That'd be pretty epic, not gonna lie. We've done an all, all Braun Strowman Royal Rumble. Then we've done like a, an all uh, Seth Rollins Royal Rumble. They were pretty dope. She was good. She betrayed the heck out of me. She's a betrayer. If you guys watch that, Mini Me, my son, he's like the full on heel or my betrayer. Crazy days in the same. Yo! Oh! Who just put that point? Show Benjamin for her business. There's one minute left. Just over one minute. Is the Hurt Business going to steal this at the end? Is the Hurt Business going to take this? Are they going to take the W? Let's see what's going to go down. Here we go. Oof. Oh. Bro, the general needs to do some work on Shelton Benjamin right now. Oh, awesome. That's what we say. Fabian right there. Oh, no, he got. He just he just got reversed. Bobby Lashley, the almighty, he's not having none of that. Honestly, a Hurt lot. Ah, German suplex. Shelton Benjamin missed it. Joe, oh, he hit it. He hit it, he gonna pin the general right now. Two. Two. Really? Really? Oh my God, come on general, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, he's got, he's got. Oh, here we go, here it is. This could bring it back, there's like 20 seconds. One, he better hurry up with those with those power bombs, bro. 20 seconds, we're counting now, bro. This could be it, this could be the draw. The general could get the draw for them. Here we go. One, two. Three, damn! 
He did! Gunther the general brought him back! Six seconds right at the end! And he can come down with some more mo oh, no he didn't. Not that time. Shut up just said hell's no. It's a it's a draw, damn it. It's a draw. Ooh, the general! Gunther saved the period right there. Alright guys, there it is. If you guys want to see some other matches on WWE 2K22, hit me up in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode of my dudes.